There are specific living things that can become Rudras, and then there could also be uh, non-living uh, things that become Rudras. So looking back on it, that when before I found Bon, I was always trying to make sure I had the vehicle to provide me the transportation to get to the job, and that was its function. Is it okay to fancy, is it, some, is it okay to have something that you really like and that you really cherish and you value it? No, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. This video is about uh, explaining uh, the issue that, that kind of can seep into someone's life that is unaware if their habit is to spend money and all their time on objects and materials that actually don't provide any value uh, in the long run. It's the means to pay for a house, and that was my huge goal. I centered everything around it, and I provided that thing that provided me the, the money to pay for the house. And so it's it almost, do you see how we kind of jumped from from each kind of material thing to, to it's always, you're always indirectly trying to get to something in this in this type of situation. This train of thought that I this was my old life, um, and not saying that that's not how it is in my in my current life. But before Bon, I was centering everything around trying to overcome the the obstacle that became the thing to overcome the next obstacle, and there was just no end to it. I, I think I think part of like. Uh, the 24 hour day for me was like 16 hours was was spent on doing that same exact thing and then you only have a few dollars after you pay for the car after you pay for the house uh, you only have a few dollars to spend on the other loans that you took out so that you could that you could provide yourself with the means and the credibility or the knowledge or the wisdom that you didn't really receive from school on the, the few dollars to pay for the loans that you did that for. So uh, it's just a vicious cycle. I think this was a, a really good video to explain my past kind of habitual patterns. I'm not saying that I'm completely purified of them and bon, we uh, seek purification for these bad or these negative uh, habits. Um, we seek to cure them, not to bring them with us in the future, but we really we take the time to look at these habits that we want to get rid of and that are standing in the way. Um, and in this in this case, I call it a rudra because it really it was an obstacle in my life. Was I really tied to the the things that I had? No, I got rid of the the brand new Cadillac that I bought. I bought a house and sold it, and I actually ended up selling it for a really good amount of money, more than it was worth, um, thanks to Padmakapa Rinpoche. Um, he helped me sell my house and my property for more than it was worth. Um, that wasn't his choice, that was mine. Um, I was looking to get rid of the things that weren't serving me any longer. I, I went from IT security into massage to seek more of uh, my purpose and to get back to what I was good at and my real talents. And not to say that I wasn't good at IT, but um, the thing that this showed me was uh, I could focus on those 16 hours a day uh, on my spiritual development and something that was more in line with my purpose. These obscurations in my life were things that's, that served me in my life and came into play when I believed that um, when I believed that they were necessary for my survival and my happiness. But in the end, when I, when I actually got those things, it didn't provide me what I thought it was going to provide me. And it led me to asking the bigger questions in life. And I think that is the real key here is when we talk about being materialistic and into things like makeup and wearing a mask and, and all these things, um, I think it's important to take into consideration is what are you spending your time on? The truth is, is uh, when you're all about focusing on what you have and what you don't have, those things end up owning you and they, you don't own them, they own you. No, in, in, no matter how much time I was spending my life on uh, doing, I was dedicated to those things, it eluded me. Um, and I could have spent that time on my spiritual development. Now, uh, what were those, those, that time, is that time wasted? Absolutely not. Um, could Do I wish I would have appreciated the people that helped me get to where I was at to that point and that helped me along the way? I sure do. Um, I think though once I found Bond I realized that it was not the things I needed but it was the people and that people were actually uh, what wealth really was and not the things.